On this week's show, we're in Elkhart, Indiana, checking out some of the new model RVs and RV trends you'll be seeing in 2018. Bob Zagami pays a visit to Nexus RV and chats with owners Dave Middleton and Claude Donati about the company and starting to sell through dealers. Also, we look at a handy new tire carrier on the market from Roadmaster. Later, we learn all about portable RV solar systems from RV Education 101. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. It's always exciting to check out some of the new products coming out and see if there's any new trends in the making. And there's no better place to do that than the Elkhart Open House. As with any industry, some years there just doesn't seem to be many new innovative products to look at. But this year, everywhere you looked, there was something new and innovative to check out. Being an industry-only event that's put on by the manufacturers, you'll find virtually every major and even smaller manufacturer setting up their outdoor showrooms on what is normally open fields and farmland. This year, along with the large contingency of Class A and C motorhomes, what caught our eye was a slew of new, small, lightweight travel trailers that have hit the scene. You normally don't find the words bold and practical used together in describing an RV, but these new travel trailers are breaking new ground in both design and well thought out practicality. We'll be checking out many of these new models in depth in 2018. Coming up after the break, we'll catch up with Bob Zagami over at Nexus RV. We'll be right back. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. We didn't make the majestic mountains or the rugged terrain or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a road trek can provide. It's great to be reunited here today with Claude Donati and Dave Middleton at Nexus RV, two longtime friends in the RV industry, and this is a dramatic uh, growth point for the company. The company has announced recently that they're switching from a factory direct model to a dealership model. And it's really exciting. It's caught the attention of dealers throughout the country who have known these guys for a long time. Uh, let me start with you, Claude. Tell us about the, I know you're always excited about stuff, but tell me about the internal excitement of what you're doing. Well, for the last seven years, we've sold our product factory direct to retail customers. And during that period of time, we were really building value, making the brand strong honing the product in and getting to know a lot of really fun customers. But as the market exploded and there's opportunities for us to grow, it made common sense for us to cease selling factory direct and sell our product to the dealer network so more people could have a chance to buy our product, Bob. Yeah, you know, one of the other things that's really exciting about Nexus RV is they started the company in 2010, right in the middle of a recession. Now, you don't find too many companies that survive a recession, number one, or to start a company in the middle of a recession and with a factory direct model without a big infrastructure going. 
Dave, speak to the challenges of that, and you certainly have overcome that. You've got a tremendous company, but speak to the challenges. You probably had sure. a few sleepless nights. <laughs> we did, more than a few, <laughs> Bob. But, you know, what we did when we started the company was our focus. We believed in this industry. We believed there were still buyers out there, and being the small guys on the block, we had laser focus on what we wanted. That was to start in the class B plus and the class C segment on Ford cutaway chassis and then grow it from there. We were hitting price points to customers from 60 to $90,000 so it was affordable and we packed it full of features. So although everyone said we were crazy, we would not survive, we just kept the focus, the customers. And when doing that, that's how we were able to grow by listening to the customers and growing with the customers. Yeah, and, and you know, when you go to that factory direct, and I, mean, I know you had a few sleepless nights also. Oh yeah. But uh, you have to have it right for the customer. You didn't have the luxury of being able to make a mistake because every customer was the company. Everybody that went out there in a Nexus RV, somebody was gonna say, what's that company, what's, what's Nexus? And it had to be a good response. So the, the ability to jump on to excellent customer service, but building a good product, what about the challenges of that? You know, what, we've, what we're finding as we're transitioning to the dealers, selling our product to the dealers, is that experience you talked about there, Bob, is what we're feeling brought um, the experience of selling factory direct is really helping us. W our product is coming cleaner to the dealers. We know how to handle an upset or customer that needs a part right away because we lived on the front line. Dave's office and my office are right next to where we delivered to the retail public for seven years. So when there was anything that wasn't going smoothly, we were right there to watch it happen. And, and that allows us now to prepare the product better. So when it arrives to the dealership, it's ready to sell. Our product is market tested with the retail customers for seven years now and we don't have all the answers but we know this we are not trying to sign every dealer in the country we've already turned down over a couple hundred orders and quite a few dealers because we want to be a fit and we know the the dealers that want to partner with us and know that our best interest is the customers to make sure that we're building the best product out there which we believe we are in the price point because of the unique features that we're using it's going to be a win win for the dealer as well as us and that's all we're looking for is partnerships talk a little bit about the change of the company when you go to the dealer network it's a little bit different than being factory direct because you guys are always here you talk to every customer I know you talked to every customer that you had you were there when they took delivery of the product how are you growing the company on the customer support side because now you're not going to just have one or two or ten customers a day calling you that's you're right. going to have dealers out there so how are you how are you changing the company to handle that the biggest thing we've done before we went to this model was we sat down and said, we have to make sure we're set up on the back end to support the customers. And so what we've done is we bought another million dollar facility where all we're doing is camping simulations. We're not going to have it at the end of the line where someone pencil whips it, PDIs it, and says it's good to go. It will leave our facility, it'll go five miles down the road where we go through a three, four hour process of camping simulation. Boiling water, turning on every light, plugging into shore power, running the generator. And if there's a long list, it's coming back to the manufacturing facility to be worked off. If it's a small list, we work it off there and then it will de be dispatched from there. But furthermore, on the back end, so when customers are calling in uh, and the dealerships, we are making sure we're manned properly. We already have five CSRs in place. It's overkill for a company our size, only plan on 25 to 35 dealers, but we want to be heavy in that area. We want to make sure every single day they get a callback. There's no overnight waiting for callbacks. Parts go out that day or the very next day at the latest. That's the way we're gearing this up to make sure, even if we have extra people on staff, it's okay. We'd rather be ahead of it starting out of the gate than behind. So you got this whole sweeping product line, and then I come in here today, and there's yet another addition to the product. So even as you're going through this, and I assume it's been on the drawing board for a long time, but you actually have a brand new, in addition to everything else that they knew about, you got a brand new product. Yes, we do. Who wants to talk about it? <laughs> well, we both do. But, <laughs> you know, it's called the Wraith, and it is a Super C, where we've had very good success with the Phantom Super C and the Ghost Super C. We partnered with International. We went and met with them. Now it's a bigger chassis, it's called a Durastar Light with 22 and a half inch tires, a 300 Cummings, and we're gonna hit a sweet spot to the dealer body that it is like none other, where there's no competition. We've created a new price point with a lot of features. The dealers have ever overwhelmingly come in and said, this is the answer. This is 
a home run, and it truly is. So we're pretty excited about the Wraith, and we've just debuted the first one here. Yeah. If right, I so can, we let him go. So yeah, I, let, let I, me wasn't jump gonna, in. I wasn't going to miss that. <laughs> <laughs> let me jump in a little bit. We, we, what we did with that product is exactly what David said, but um, it's added with our high strength, low alloy steel framing, our unique construction features. We're doing things that nobody else is doing to add safety and durability into our product lineup. And we're hoping to be the Volvo of, of the um, RV industry where we're gonna give customers a safer, better ride with how we build our product. We're not, we're not using aluminum. We're using the, heavy, the heavier steel. We're, we're building our product with fiberglass roofs and HVAC duct system and galvanized storage compartments and heavy trusses that support the floor, a fully laminated product. We've seen and heard from many of the dealerships that they want something with a little more durability to it that they can sell to the customers and really add value and that's what we hope to do now does that mean it's the end of the claude and dave video series because that, you guys did some great videos you didn't leave anything out of them and you just kept talking and talking you, you went through that coach inside out and backwards it's, how do we fit this into the new business model? The same. We're going to be shooting new videos. Um, it will be the same process. It'll be him doing the ins outside, me doing the inside. Um, it will be just with new product and new features. So uh, nothing's changing. You know, we want customers to know that although we're selling to the dealers, we're still here. We got to where we're at because of the customers, and we're not going to abandon that. We are just going to have more of a support group with the greatest dealers in the country partnering with us. Yeah. So there you have it. Started at the middle of the, in the beginning of the recession, the, to the middle of the recession, a factory direct model. They started with a Class B plus C. They've got a full product line up to a diesel pusher. The next step, going to the dealers around the country, and it's an exciting step. You've earned every bit of it, David. Thank you, Bob. You've done fantastic. Thank Claude. you. It is Appreciate always it, a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Next, we'll check out a new spare tire carrier from Roadmaster. But first, a word from our sponsors. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration. It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause, ramble out into the world, and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. Greetings, Jeff Johnston here. Now, a lot of motorhome owners enjoy doing their own maintenance and repair. For some of them, that includes changing their own tires in the event that they have a flat. But most owners, especially on big coaches like this, leave that up to Good Sam Road Service or something, someone along those lines. Well, even if you have road service available, if you have a flat tire on a, a special tire size on a coach like this and you're out in the middle of nowhere, for example, you may be out of luck because the local dealer doesn't have a tire. And if the wheel happens to have been damaged in the course of the flat, well, how long are you going to wait for that to show up by postage or shipping in somewhere? Roadmaster has come up with a solution for carrying a spare tire that lets you have a lot more control of the situation because that way you have your spare tire in the correct size, maybe mounted on an inexpensive steel wheel compared to one of these guys, it's really costly. And it just makes your whole uh, driving situation a little bit less stressful, maybe a little more reliable. Let's take a closer look. Hi, this is uh, an introduction to Roadmaster's new spare tire carrier for motorhomes. And essentially what we've learned is that none of the coaches come with spares or spare wheels. And a lot of customers would like to take that along with them. But there's never really been a good way to do that and, until now. Uh, Roadmaster's motorhome spare tire carrier actually inserts into the receiver of the motorhome allowing you to mount a spare tire, and it could be a 16 inch, a 16.5, a 19.5, a 22.5, or even up to a 24 inch wheel will all fit on this one spare tire carrier. It simply inserts into the receiver on the motorhome. 
So if you're towing a car, it still has a receiver built into it so that you can continue to tow, and it doesn't matter which brand, it just simply has a two-inch receiver. So whether it's a tow bar, a bike rack, or some other hitch accessory, um, you're still ready to go, but you can still take your spare and your wheel with you. To lower the spare tire carrier, there's a secret little compartment back here where your leverage handle is stored, and we're gonna extend that up, pin it back into place, and now there's an auto latch on the back side. All you do is pull up on the handle, that releases the lock, and now you're just gonna walk it down and just use this lever bar to lower it to the ground. Now that it's on the ground, you can take off your lug nuts, you can roll your spare over to the side that needs to be changed, take your flat, roll it back up to the carrier, mount that back onto the tire carrier, and now all you gotta do is raise it back up. So again, get out here to the end, use the bar as a leverage arm, walk it on up. And when it gets fully vertical, it'll automatically lock in the vertical position. And that's because of our auto latch. Now we will unpin the lever bar, lower it back down, pin it in place, and you're good to go. As I mentioned earlier, this tire carrier fits 16 inch all the way up to 24 inch tires and wheels. In kind of keeping with that one size fits all, when it comes to the receiver portion of the tire carrier, we have several different pin holes. There's two pin holes, one here and one just behind this collar. And that allows you to slide your tow bar in or out or your hitch accessory in or out uh, for a variety of different applications. That way your tire and wheel can pivot up and down to the ground cleanly. Also, in order to get a better fit to the back of your coach, there's two pin holes built into the stinger. Uh, and those pin holes are actually threaded. And the reason for that is so that we can literally bolt the stinger into the receiver, giving you an anti-rattle, so there's no play, there's no slop there. Uh, and also this uh, assembly is rated at 10,000 pounds. So it's got a GVW of 10,000 pounds. The paint is a powder coat finish, which is extremely durable and anti-corrosive. Um, it's uh, a far better finish than either spray paint or dip painting goes. Um, the other reason to have this tire carrier pivot up and down is so that you can access the back of your coach. And I'll demonstrate that here in a moment. So we lower the tire carrier again. And now as you can see, you've got plenty of clearance so that you can access your rear compartments. Maybe you've got storage or maybe you've got oil or uh, some other fluids to check back here. But it's a convenient way to still have access to whatever's on the rear of your RV without having to unbolt and remove a bunch of equipment. So if you'd like to carry a spare with you, Roadmaster's new motorhome spare tire carrier is a great way to control the cost. You're not going to be at the mercy of your local provider. It's a great way to make sure that your tire is going to match the rest of the tread that's already on the ground. And it's a very easy way to have some peace of mind and comfort knowing that wherever you might have a blowout, you've got at hand what you need to get back on the road in a very quick and easy way. For more information about the new Roadmaster Spare Tire Carrier, log on to our website at rollinontv.com. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at jayco.com or just log on to rollingontv.com. When you have a Truma AquaGo instant hot water system, you can expect to make a lot of new friends. Hi, I'm Jeff Johnston. For those of you who are part of our Facebook family, be sure to tune in to our Rolling On TV Facebook page on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 Eastern, to take part in our weekly Rolling On Live show. 
we use our live events brought to you from our studio here in beautiful Eugene, Oregon, to talk about show news and activities, to answer your questions about the show, and most important, we'll tackle your RV-related technical questions with straight scoop information. We also pass along RV product or industry news of interest. While you're on our page, you can check out past Rolling On Live episodes to see what your RVing friends are saying and talking about. We hope you'll tune in to our Facebook page for Rolling On Live, Wednesdays at 5 Pacific Time, 8 Eastern, for some great RV information and a little fun. We'd love to see and hear from you. Cheers. If you enjoy boondocking or remote type camping with no electric hookups and depend on your RV batteries, this ZAMP portable solar charging system is for you. Let me show you how all this power packed in a small case works. ZAMP Solar offers several portable solar charging systems ranging from 40 watts through 200 watts depending on your needs. This ZS120P model packs a big punch. It is the 120 watt model with 6.84 amps of charging power. This particular system is large enough to handle larger battery banks and has been designed to work well with dual batteries like we have here. It will work on 6 volt batteries wired in series or 12 volt batteries wired in parallel and will perform up to 50 to 60 amps per day. The system comes complete and ready to use in this nice ballistic nylon padded carrying and storage case. The ZAMP folding solar kits feature monocrystalline solar panel technology, are ground mounted, have adjustable tilt legs for optimum tilt angle, waterproof, weatherproof digital deluxe solar charge controller already mounted on an easy view bracket, and 16 feet of UV protected fused wire and a new solar plug system with battery terminal clamps for easy hookup. When you arrive at your destination, the setup process takes less than five minutes. You simply unpack the bag, unfold the panels, adjust the tilt legs, position it on the ground in a sunny location pointing south, and connect the wires to your RV batteries. The charge controller is a five-stage battery charger with PWM or pulse width modulating technology. The ZAMP solar charger works on gel cell, absorbed glass mat, and lead acid batteries. Monitoring the system couldn't be easier with the Easy View solar charge controller bracket. It allows the user to swing the controller out to a viewable position while standing or kneeling to monitor the system. Colored LEDs easily indicate the operational status and battery condition, and the digital LCD displays battery voltage, charging current, charging capacity, full charge, and fault codes. When the controller powers on, it will perform a self-test and then go into the charging mode and the LCD will display the charging status. Just select your battery type. Pressing the amp volt button will display all current readings. Now when you really need your batteries, you can rest assured they'll be there for you. If you enjoy camping in remote areas and depend on your RV batteries, there's a ZAMP Solar Portable Charging Kit designed specifically for you. ZAMP Solar offers products for all of your solar needs at www.zampsolar.com. Happy camping! We hope you enjoyed this week's program, and for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories from current and past shows, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. If you're into RVing or just appreciate vintage vehicles, be sure to set your GPS for the RV MH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. This museum houses the largest collection of vintage RVs and trailers dating as far back as 1916. For more information, visit their website at rvmhhalloffame.org.